are state lawmakers trying to strip local authority? West Lafayette Mayor John Dennis thinks so. A bill heading to the governor's desk bans local government from regulating plastic bags. News 18's Kayla Sullivan says that's something the West Lafayette Go Greener Commission has talked about doing. They're upset they might not have the option anymore. Kayla. Jeff and Gina, as many know, plastic bags are terrible for the environment. And in a city that's striving to go green, state government is making that difficult. We use 400, 500 plastic bags a year per person. And most of those bags end up here, where they are damaging to the environment. That's why many local governments were having the conversation about banning or taxing plastic bags. We're really trying, but it's a real handicap to work in the state of Indiana, where the environment is way down the list. Uh, business conquers all. Here at the Indiana State House, allowing local governments to ban or tax plastic bags, forcing stores to use paper bags like this one, seems like a dangerous imposition on commerce. However, not all lawmakers feel that way. At, at the end of the day, I'm a local control guy, uh, and that's kind of where I came from. That's my roots from West Lafayette City Council days, and I think that, that it's so easy for people down here in Indianapolis to do just that, is to strip some of that local control and some of that local power, and I think a lot of times people People think that the bigger government um, and the one further from the people are doing a better job than the government right at the uh, right at the source. But West Lafayette Mayor John Dennis says those same people who supported the bill wouldn't feel that way if roles were reversed. I am absolutely certain that if the federal government was to intervene on state policy, that there would be an immediate and severe reaction on the part of our state. So I wish they would give us the same consideration when they're enacting some of these policies that do restrict local control. Representative Sheila Klinker says she supported the plastic bags bill because it was good for commerce, but doesn't deny something needs to be done to protect the environment. We will come back next year in a long session and deal with plastic bags because many of us know that certainly plastic bags kill our animals uh, and our fish in our rivers and we will deal with Blinker that. says she understands local frustration but says the upcoming transportation compromise is going to make local governments very happy. The General Assembly is expected to vote on the transportation bill tomorrow. Of course we will have the latest on that as we get it. Kayla Sullivan, News 18.